Today, we'll be talking about medication adherence. Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Todd, Medical Director at Mercy Health. The objective of this webinar is to understand the impact medication non-adherence has on our community, discuss what happens when we do not take our medications as directed, and identify barriers to non-adherence. Learn some tips and tricks to improve adherence. A little bit of background. 32 million Americans take three or more medications daily. The World Health Organization reports that only 50% of patients with chronic diseases take their medication as prescribed. Poor adherence to medication is estimated to cost approximately $100 billion per year. And an estimated 125,000 deaths occur annually due to medication non-adherence. 20 to 30 percent of new prescriptions are never filled at the pharmacy. For patients prescribed medications for chronic diseases, after six months, the majority take less medication than prescribed or stop the medication altogether. This is a worrisome trend. Let's talk about adherence to medication. There are intentional non-adherence and unintentional non-adherence. Intentional non-adherence is a deliberate decision not to follow the prescribed medication regime. Altering the dose, incorrect timing of the dosing, or incorrect frequency. Some excuses are, I don't need to take a full tablet, my cholesterol is normal. I don't like waking up early to take my medication. I only need to take my inhaler once a day. Then there are unintentional non-adherence careless or forgetful about adhering to prescribed medication regimes. What are some of the consequences of non-adherence? Health complications, rapid disease progression, need for more medication because doctors don't think the current regime is working, increased overall health care expenditures. The direct cost is estimated at 100 to 289 billion annually. Patients may need expensive long-term treatment, dialysis, or organ transplantation as an example. Non-adherent patients may become sicker, younger, and therefore will use more of the healthcare system over their lifespan compared to an older adult. Increased hospital admissions and readmissions, home health care procedures, et cetera, et cetera. Decreased quality of life. Patients are unable to perform tasks of daily living, light chores around the house as an example, unable to travel for long periods of time, unable to drive, etc. Increased mortality. Preventable deaths due to non-adherence are estimated to be at least 125,000 deaths annually. Let's talk about barriers to adherence to medications. Cost of medications, unwanted side effects, cultural differences, logistics, low health literacy, complex medic medication regimes, and forgetfulness. You've heard these excuses before. I don't have COPD, my breathing's fine. I don't like the way this makes me feel. Or stretching supplies due to expensive medications, inhalers, insulin, blood thinners, etc. I have too many pills, and this all can't be good for me. Make sure to discuss denial under low health literacy. Cost of medications is also a reason for non-adherence. Work with your provider to take generic medications when possible. There are prescription assistant programs that are available through drug manufacturers. Needymeds.org is a great resource to use. Copay cards are often available for brand name medications. Check online at their websites for more information. Most insurance plans incentivize the use of 90-day prescriptions. For instance, some insurance plans charge a $10 copay for 30-day supply and a $25 copay for a 90-day supply. Samples. Take advantage because most doctor's offices have samples of expensive brand name medications. Really never hurts to ask. Call your insurance company to see if there are other options available at a cheaper copay. Some insurance companies will even authorize a copay waiver if you meet certain criteria. Cultural differences that lead to non-adherence to medications. Culture shared among a group of individuals, but all individuals in a culture don't think and act alike necessarily. 
One third of patients who use alternative treatments won't even tell their health care provider. Folk medicine or alternative therapies, family and support and connections, denial of the disease, beliefs surrounding sources of illness, satisfaction and confidence in the health care system are all cultural reasons for non-adherence to medications. Logistical reasons for non-adherence to medications. Elderly and low-income patients may not have reliable transportation to and from the pharmacy or even office visits. Mail-order pharmacies are available. Some local pharmacies deliver, just ask. And Uber Health, it's a new pilot in the Cincinnati area. It's teamed up with some physicians to get people to and from office visits. Distance from home to offices is also a barrier. Telehealth and e-visits are an emerging trend on the rise. My chart is useful if you have a question about medication and don't have the time to call the office. The response from the doctor is sent directly to you. You can request prescription refills from my chart as well as look at labs, office visit notes, etc. Health literacy as a reason for medication non-adherence. Health literacy, the ability of an individual to obtain process and understand basic health information and services needed to make appropriate health decision. Clear instructions. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if you don't understand the instruction, instructions written on your bottle. Simplify medication regimes. Combine medications. Eliminate unneeded medication or, or supplements. Simplify that routine. Speak up and ask your doctor if, if you don't understand a medical term or lab values. Also, learn what your medications are used to treat. Complex medical regimes are often a barrier to medication adherence. Combine medications. Try extended release or once a day medications. Stop unneeded vitamins or supplements. Improve diet and exercise. Weight reduction itself can improve blood pressure. It can lower your A1C and reduce pain. Quit all forms of tobacco, including smoking. Create a medication list, a dosing chart. Involve your care team, your family members, and talk to your prescriber or pharmacist. Forgetfulness is a barrier itself. So there are things you can do to help with your forgetfulness. Pill boxes, they're available in many options and are available at all pharmacies. A pharmacy pill pack. There are alarms, calendars, there are even smartphone apps. MediSafe, DoseCast, and MyMeds are some examples. And of course, pharmacies have automatic refills. Automatic dispensing devices to help with medication adherence. Some can be filled up to 30 days at a time. They can add up to six alarms per day. They dispense daily medications at the specified time smartphone connectivity, which will alert if a dose is missed, and these can be all purchased online. Here's an example to the right. Ask for help to improve medication adherence. Identify barriers to adherence and ask for help. You won't get in trouble. We want to help you as health, keep you as healthy as possible. Speak with your physician, your primary care doc. Be honest and openly communicate. Talk with your pharmacist. They can help simplify medication regimes as well as side effect counseling. And ask your family for help. Share your medication list with family members and ask for help.